There we go, I got the stopping montage out of the way early this week. Some people actually don't like that whole stopping montage I do, and to them I say, that one's dedicated to you, in your face. I love it. Today is an absorption skate, which might not sound terribly glamorous. Sort of conjures up images of me skating around the city with paper towels wiping up after other people's spills. Sorry, I'll get that. This is really absorbent. But no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm skating around the city looking for little things to roll, stuff to absorb with my feet, cracks, imperfections, changes in the road, stairs, that sort of thing. I think that's why I skate, because within every section there's just so much to do. There's no one meter that doesn't require some sort of attention or can't be used or leveraged a little bit better than if you're just placidly skating through the scene. I have a sort of identity that I've never really talked about where I consider myself like a weapon skating through the city, like a jet plane or a cruise missile. I'm on King Street here, and King Street was previously a street that I just would not skate on. I was banned from it, I'd been doored here, I'd been pulled down from a crevice. Well, not really pulled down, I <laughs> let myself get pulled down from a crevice. But yeah, it's just a no-go area, it's so busy. But they've blocked it off to traffic almost completely. The city has made some changes where cars are only allowed to travel on the street for one block at a time, and then they have to turn off. It's primarily a project aimed at making the streetcars more effective, which has worked. I can now take the streetcar to work, and I'm going faster than the people walking now. Here we are at Roy Thompson Hall, and there's some skaters in the way that I'm going, and they point their camera at me, I point my camera at them, and everything's cool. I really like that rollerblading has lost its weird victim status. I know a lot of us were wallowing in our loser status, but I just couldn't embrace it. I'm skating for me, this is just so fun and so personal, and they're just blurs, really, unless they're yelling shit, eh? even then. There's some great multi-level skating here at Roy Thompson Hall. I'd like to get a little line there going faster. Jesus, just so much I can show you on King Street if I have the mind to. There's the theater district, there's all these restaurants, and I can actually stop on the road and point the camera around if I want to. It's just so surprising that it's worked so quickly. Back in the alleys, I get to do some more of the subtle stuff, rolling over things and trying to make them look smooth. Like a curb here, and, and I'm back on the street for the median. I like staying connected to things sometimes, instead of just jumping over. Sometimes when I jump over something and I land, I feel like I've broken the flow. Just kind of pushing off that roll in the road there in a way that gives me some extra energy over a chain here, which I really over jump. I've caught my foot once before on those. It's not a nice thing. So the alleys in Toronto aren't terrible. They're not full of grease if you choose the right places, especially the King Street West alleys and the North Queen Street West alleys. Sidewalks like this you have to be careful about. These gaps in the pavement stones or between the paving stones can bring you down. You can get very easily derailed. And a low angle shot. I like this one. Kind of reminds me of a, like a horror shot. A little skate ghoul. Like a, a voodoo doll has come to life. And a skate's on. It's got a spear in his hand. Stalking the unwitting Toronto. Back to full size here. And on to Queen, which is remarkably difficult to skate after skating on the fairly hard king. 
between really saps the energy because it's a very rough road and it's got a lot of imperfections. So between the surface and the cracks, your energy just does not translate very far. Which is why I get off the road and chill out for a little while. I would really prefer to skate in short bursts and skate well, as opposed to skating efficiently for a long time. And the home stretch where I generally try to run it out a little bit. I don't really get into a full sprint here, but I think I give it a good shot. Into the alley where I normally do my sprint. I generally do the sprint on the uphill though. Now I'm just coasting down here, nice and easy. Very little work to do, I can enjoy the flow. Show you my beautiful skates and say very little about them because look at them. Yeah. Thanks for joining me and I will be announcing the Skater Hunter location in the next video. Catch you later, Absorption Skater. I don't think that's gonna catch on. Absorption skaters of LA. Absorption skaters of Kirk belongs there. I'm an absorption skater of New York. <laughs> That's terrible.